Hey Floss Tube, this is Jordan the Tattooed Stitcher. I'm back for my bi-weekly cross-stitching update. I think this is Floss Tube number 32 and I'll be going through my normal update as well as a Stitch West recap. I feel like I've done a million of these because I've <laughs> gone to Stitch West every year but as long as you don't get tired of hearing about Stitch West, I shall continue to talk about it. I have a lot to get through. It's kind of an overcast day, so I apologize for any shadows and lighting. And my <laughs> voice is a little hoarse from all the weekend chatter. Because um, we know a girl's got to chat at a retreat. So <laughs> apologize for throat clearing, roughness. Um, but so yeah, we're just going to dive right in. I have a finish. I have whips and I have new starts. And then of course, of course, haul. <laughs> okay, so I'll start with my finish and I'm gonna be, <laughs> my table is kind of long and I can't fit it all around me. So I'll, I'm gonna be reaching. Okay. Goodness, I have a mess here. Apologies. My first finish is um, Seasons of the Heart Spring from, oh, and there's a thread dangling here. I just noticed. Hold up. I have scissors right next to me. This is, this shall not be finished. Live on camera. Finish. Okay. Blackbird season, no, with thy needle, Seasons of the Heart Spring. I'm stitching this on, I stitched this on 40 count old sheep from x -Jude Designs. And it's not ironed, of course, but this is what it looks like. There we go. I stitched it with all of the called fours. And I really liked doing all of the, I think they're called Smyrna crosses in the flowers. I have a mistake. I won't tell you where, because if you can't see it, then neither can I. Oh, a finish. Okay, and hold on, rocking a minute. Um, and then my other whip that I worked on before I left for Utah. Let me pull up my things here because it is a PDF. Is oh my gosh, Stacy Nash Designs Spring Chicken Chickens. And keep. I'm stitching this on 46 count X Jude Designs Latte, and this is where I'm at with it right now. I've only got those two little flowers at the bottom. But so there is a triple border on this pattern. So there's the green border, there is another border that runs all along with this and is the opposite side, um, like base of the flowers. So, like, this one doesn't have a base yet. And it also is in in the inside a lot. So then there's one, two, three borders. Um, and I didn't have that color. So I got really stuck. I couldn't continue on unless I like moved the hoop and I didn't feel like doing that. Um, so I got, oh, and I ran out of Oscar, which is the called for in this um, vine. So I did actually get stuck on this pattern um, because the next shade up, there's more Oscar here. And then the next shade up is the color I'm missing here. I cannot remember what color it is. Pamlico and Schneckly. And I did not have those on my stash. So <laughs> I got trapped and stuck on this one right here. Um, until I got those other flosses when I was at Stitch West. So it won't be stuck anymore. And then, is that my only whip? No, I have one more whip. Where did it go? Oh, no, I have two more whips. Okay. Oh, and the pattern place is right here. Okay, so the next whip I worked on was the Flights of Fancy Italian 1801 from uh, JBW Designs. And this is where it is right now. So I finished this little bird. He's so cute. And then I did a few more leaves and then I extended the branch of this, the tree up further. So I'm almost, let's see, I'm almost to the top. Sorry, the glare is probably bad. I'm on the branch that this 
second bird is standing on. So I'm not too far from the top, but sorry, I'm really distracted by this bird out here. <laughs> so that's where that is. And then my last whip is with thy needle, uh, where is it? Winter Rose Manor. I can't find the, you know what it looks like. So I'm still working on the house. I got just doing more, <laughs> more pink fill in. I actually started filling in this door and I've started filling in all the windows. So the windows are, have like curtains in them. So I did start filling in the windows, but I've just really been trying to take chunks out of this beast of a pink house. Um, and I'm stitching it with the Vicki Clayton silk. So it's not like it's a bad experience and it's perfect for when I'm paying attention to a show or a movie and I can just not be counting and just go like, I'm really enjoying it. It's not, it doesn't feel like, um, work. So. Oh, and just while I have them here, these adorable pink scissors look, okay, first of all, I love me a sharp scissor. They are so sharp because I cut from the front. I cut my threads from the front because I do a pin stitch to start and to end my threads. So I'm never flipping around. Um, I'm actually going to film a little video on how I do a pin stitch to post on here. Um, if that's interesting to anybody, I did teach, uh, a friend at the retreat, how to do the pin stitch. So I thought I had no idea how to do it until someone in person taught me. So I thought maybe I would put it out there if anybody's interested. Um, but look how cute what does it say? You got this. Look at this. And then this, I just added this little sparkly gummy bear is from Debbie, Mama Bear Stitchery. Loved, loved, loved meeting Debbie finally in person. She's lovely. And so I added that. And they're just like the most amazing scissors. And they're just on Amazon. And I'm like, they're not expensive. And I think I need one in my stitchy bag, my stitchy spot, and in my stitchy retreat box. Like at all times. I love them. Okay. So I think we have finished with my whips and now I'll do new starts. So all of these new starts took place at the retreat. Um, one of my new starts was going to be consider the lilies, but um, I was asked by the lovely Rosanna. Um, her channel is called Nest of Petals and her Instagram is also called Nest of Petals, uh, who asked if I would like to start, hold up, where is it? Right here. Oh my gosh, don't wanna knock up the camera. If I would like to start uh, the new Heartstring Samplery release, uh, the Scenic Sampler, which is right here, and stitch it with her. So we are stitching that together. Um, Rocio from Cocohamas Stitchery, Cocohamas. <laughs> He's also stitching it with us and we all started it this past weekend while Rocio and I were at the retreat. Um, it is gorgeous pattern, but just, I have a little bit of a tale to tell with my fabric. <laughs> so I knew what fabric I wanted to stitch this on. And I knew that I didn't have a big enough piece and to order a big enough piece would be coming, cause it's an ex -Jude design. So they are, she's based out of Hungary, would be coming from Hungary and would in no way possibly make it to Utah in a week. <laughs> so I was like feeling really bummed out because I did not want to start it on the fabric that I didn't want to start it on. And so I was just content to just be like, you guys start it and I'll start it when my fabric comes. Well, Rocio said, if you can find it somewhere else, I just untied that. Why don't you have it shipped to the hotel <laughs> under my name? Because she had the room booked and I didn't. And I was like, okay. And so I did, I found the fabric through Rebel Stitcher. Um, I think her name is Colleen. And she very kindly shipped it to the hotel under Rocio's name. And it came on Saturday morning. 
morning. So I was able to start on Saturday. And the fabric that I chose now that my tail is over is uh, XG Designs Little Bunny. This is a 46 count. So I have a piece of Little Bunny in 46 count, but it is really, really small. It was just like a little, it's not even an eighth. It's a very small piece. So I need a bigger piece. Obviously, Scenic Sampler is huge. So here is my start that I got on Saturday. Ignore this color because, ugh, so I pulled mostly colors from my stash. I do have a few of the called fours, but I didn't have all of them. So I pulled the DMC and I was matching two threads from my stash. Um, I don't know what the heck is with the deal with this pattern <laughs> or, or like there's a really heavy filter on the pictures taken of this pattern. I'm not sure, but to me, the flowers are pink, like pink. So I was expecting pink flowers. The call for DMC is 921, which is orange, nothing against orange. But I had it in my head that these were pink samplers. It was pink bleh, flowers. So I changed a few of the colors to ones to mat better match the cover photo. I swapped the called for color flowers, color in the flowers with these three pinky red colors. So when you hold them like this, they look great. When you stitch them, the inner border, the inner flower color, this one right here, is too dark. There's not enough contrast for my taste. So I will be picking out the five stitches I did and replacing this color with a brighter pink color. Not a big deal. Then I also changed the grass colors. I changed one grass color. So there are two grass colors called for mossy and uh, Mossy from Classic Colorworks and Collards from Week Style Works. Collards was out at Shepherd's Bush. So I am using Mossy and I swapped Collards for a very, very similar color, Balsam Fur from Classic Colorworks. So I'm using Mossy and Balsam Fur as the grass colors. And then another swap I did is in this picture, the water around the swan and the window panes are blue. The call for DMC was 503, which is like algae green. And I thought this won't do. I wanted it to be blue. So I swapped just the pond and the window panes with this light blue. And then <laughs> I am using, okay, I don't know exactly. Hmm. So this color and this color are supposed to be the, am, like it was supposed to be really this color, which is um, Classic Colorworks Lighthouse, which is just kind of like a dirty white was supposed to be for all like the animals and the other windows. And I didn't like that. So I'm going to use a mixture of these two, kind of where I want the animals with, with the animals and the windows and kind of, um, oh, and this one too, for the windows. So these two are gonna be the window colors. And then these two are going to be the other white colors. So it's like in the animals and in the, I think that's it. The bee wings possibly. So I'm kind of determining where I'll put those as I'm stitching it. And then <laughs> the house color looks gray. The called for is brown hen, which I have brown hen right here, which is like a taupey pale brown. I ended up swapping the house color to sampler gentle art. Oh, the gentle, yeah. Sample, gentle Art Sampler Threads um, Cobblestone. I think that'll look really fun. This was Rocio's idea and I jumped on it. So, that being said, if you would like a more detailed info about these, feel free to message me.
I hope that's as clear as mud. Okay. Let me put these away. So that was one new start. And I attempted back to, okay. I brought Consider the Lilies with me and I attempted to start it on the first night that we were there. I had gone early to see my new nephew who is amazing and adorable and the cutest thing in the entire world. And I did not sleep much that night because my brother made me watch a really scary movie and <laughs> it kept me up a lot of the night. So I attempted to start this. So you have, there are two that are on a, a flash drop and it just, the lighting wasn't good. I was really tired. It wasn't working out. The fabric is really huge. I didn't cut it down. It's a full fat half. It wasn't working on my little hoop that I brought for the retreat. And so I was like, I can't do this. I will start this. I will start this this year. Um, probably when my kids are out of school and life is settled a bit more like at the beginning of summer. And then it'll be my dedicated Sunday stitch most likely. So that one is a TBD. So the other start I did during the retreat, move this, was the one I started with Bernadette, Fern Stitches. And we started Birds of a Feather from Blackbird Signs. And we're doing it with the Vicki Clayton Silks which are absolutely stunning. And I'm stitching it. So I had originally brought a piece of fabric down to start it on that I wasn't convinced of, but Bernadette had brought me some lakeside linens that I had bought through her when she was shopping at her LNS a few a month or so ago. So she had brought me my fabrics and one of the fabrics she brought me, I was like, that is exactly the color and the vibe that I'm going for with this pattern. And that is Lakeside Linens 40 Count Vintage Pecan Butter. And it's this really beautiful straw kind of warm toned brown. So I started in the bottom left corner and I didn't get very much of a start. So this fabric is absolutely beautiful. I was foolish and I did not bring, I did not bring my table light for reasons I've mentioned in previous videos. I brought only a neck light. My Dubco holds my project up so high, which I love, that the neck light, <laughs> I couldn't wear it without it shining literally straight into everyone around me's eyes. And so I couldn't use it. So I didn't feel like being the one that's blinding everybody at the table. <laughs> so it was, as the day went on, like it was hard to see this. This fabric is not dark, but I was kind of in a shadowy spot at the table and it was a struggle for me. And I wasn't stitching because I was like, I can't see, I can't, I'm not enjoying this. This is not a fun time. So my start is really small, but that's okay because I'm home now with my beautiful, bright light. <laughs> and I'll be able to stitch this no problem now. So there's that one. So I was kind of in this, I was stuck. I had only brought Consider the Lilies and Birds of a Feather to start. Oh, and then Scenic Sampler, but I couldn't start Scenic Sampler because my fabric didn't come till Saturday. So all day Friday, I was like, what the heck am I gonna stitch? I ended up, um, Bernadette had brought me the new, um, with thy needle. Well, it was a newer with thy needle release that she has just finished. Tis spring. She just finished this. It's so, so cute. And she had brought me the pattern to, to use, you know, at another time. And I was like, you know what? And, and she even brought all of the threads that it calls for. And so I was like, you know what? I have this, I'm gonna start this. But I didn't have any fabric to start it. <laughs> Luckily, I was at a retreat. 
and um, I do not remember her name, but Live and Die LA, she had a booth full of fabric. And so I was like, I'm just going to get a piece and I'm going to stitch it, stitch, stitch it Shepherd's Bush style. So meaning, so this is the fabric, Live and Die LA, color is buttermilk. And I got it in a 32 count linen because I wanted to stitch it like Shepherd's Bush stitches their patterns. And if you've ever been into Shepherd's Bush or stitched a Shepherd's Bush pattern, they stitch their things or, and anytime they do like a conversion, they stitch for the most part on 32 count with one strand over two fabric threads. And it gives it a really um, primitive, soft look. And I love it. And I was like, I can stitch on 32 count all day, easy with bad lighting. So I did that. I'm gonna, I started it with one strand over two threads. And this is what it's looking like right now. I did quite a bit. This was just what I stitched on Friday. And then Saturday morning until my scenic sampler fab fabric came. I'm really stuttering. <laughs> I'm stuttering a lot today. I'm sorry. Um, so I think I got really good progress and I had such a great time stitching on this. It's, I mean, I love with thy needle patterns, love them. So it's really, really cute. The flosses are gorgeous and I love the effect it's getting on this fabric where it's kind of just like fading into the fabric almost. So it's going to be big. I think the called for, it went not big. The called for fabric is on 40 count, um, but it's only 107 by 77. So not insane huge. Okay. That's all my whips, my finishes, and my new starts. And now I can go into Happy Mail and haul. Um, I will start with my Happy Mail. So before I left my club through Abby Top Knot Stitcher came and it was the Hobby House. Look at it. Oh my gosh. Look at the little sheep. They're so cute. I cannot wait to start this. I'm just, you know, settling in from the whirlwind of being gone for almost a week. I don't know when, very soon, probably this, very soon. <laughs> Cause this was the reason that I joined the club was the Hobbit house. It came with the called for brown hen thread. I just need to decide what count and like color I want to stitch on. Just gotta pick a fabric. So I love it. What's the called for fabric? Prehistoric linen from Fox and Rabbit, and I don't have that. It's a gray. So I don't know. We'll see. But she'll be soon. And then another piece of happy mail <laughs> I got was from the lovely, sweet, beautiful Christy. Her channel is Crosshatch Quilts. I'm sure you've all seen her. I am so heavily enabled every single time she posts a video. I just keep you know, Google open on my phone the whole time during her videos because I'm shopping. I'd be shopping every single time she throws something up. She sent me this beautiful, beautiful quilted bag. Look at it. <laughs> Are you kidding? Look at the inside. Oh, Christy, thank you so much. She's a lovely human. And this bag is stunning. And I have never had a quilted bag like this before. It's so beautiful. Okay. Now. Okay. Well, this is technically previous because I bought it before Stitch West, but I didn't get it until Stitch West. Um, Bernadette went to her local needlework store and she came across a hoard of Lakeside Linen. And if you know anything about anything, you know that Lakeside Linen is really hard to find sometimes. Most times. And so I was like, give me some of that right now. And um, so she picked me up 40 count, the, the pecan butter that I'd already showed you. Um, also 40 count exemplar, which is another really kind of straw, brown, warm brown color. Oh, I love it. And also 
um, 40 count vintage lentil. We split a yard of this, so I have a fab. <laughs> oh, it's so pretty. It's like really pulling up the modeling, but when you're looking at it in person, it is not that stark. It's really subtle. More so than the, you know, oh, love it. So technically that was not Stitch West haul, even though I got it at Stitch West. During, during Stitch West. Okay, now we'll get into the, oh, my iPad is all dying. Okay, I'll shut it off. Now we'll get into the Stitch West haul. Okay. Where should we start? Let's move some things around. Okay, I did get some table gifts. Um, the little pink scissors from, okay, so sitting at my table was, um, it went Carolyn, which was my mother-in-law's, one of my mother-in-law's oldest friends. And then my mother-in-law, Lorinda, she's the owner of the Mary Crow. And then Rocio, Coquahoma Citri, and then me. And then Bernadette Burn Stitches, and then Amy X Stitching and Adventures. Amy's come to most of the Stitch Wests with me. And then um, her name was Tammy. Yes, Tammy was sitting next to her. And then Amber Rogue Mama Stitcher, and then an empty chair, which was for the Primrose ladies. They all kind of, I mean, there's a lot of them. <laughs> They're a large group of people. I didn't realize. And so they all kind of like um, took turns like sitting at tables and stitching with us. And that was kind of, really kind of cool. I, it gives you a little bit more time with the designers and things and I like that. So I did get table gifts. I got this one from Rocio. We're gonna stitch this together. Little sheepy friends from Shepherd's Bush. So cute. And then from Tammy, she made us these like baskets. Amazing. It's so nice. And I used it to hold all of my um, Tis Spring threads. These are all my, all these stickers in here that I got from Debbie. <laughs> but yeah, absolutely adorable. Love that. And then um, Amber Rogue Mama Stitcher gave me this cute needle minder from my mother-in-law shop. Oh, kitty. Adorable. And then Bernadette, her sister is a crocheter and she has an Etsy. Amigurubia. I hope this isn't backwards. You can see it. She has an Etsy, but it's a boba, boba tea like holder. Isn't that so cute? Loved it. Adorable. And then Amy gave me this little bag that you stitch. You can stitch something on it. I thought it was so cute. And then the scissors I said were from Carolyn. And Carolyn also gave us a bag that had, and I brought it downstairs. It was a little jar of huckleberry honey and two chocolates, like huckleberry flavored chocolates from, so Carolyn lives where I live. And from the chocolate shop, that's literally two feet from my house. Okay, not two feet, but like two minutes drive from my house. And I avoid going in there because I do some damage on chocolates. And now I'm going to be making a trip in there because those are some of the best chocolates I've ever had. And then, so those were like my immediate table gifts from friends. And then, you know, other people like give gifts to the entire room. And I wasn't even at the table for a lot of these that came my way. So I don't know who some of these are actually from. And I look like, <laughs> looks like I accidentally got two of them. I accidentally got two of these um, thread drops. And there's a threader and a needle minder from Kim Knowles. Crystal Day and Pat and Pat Bird. <coughs> and then I got another gummy bear from Debbie. I'm going to be putting on my other scissors. And then I'm not sure who this is from. There was no tag with it. 
ring. And then this little soap. I think this is from Debbie and Kefren because it says, thank you for being here, Stitch West, April 2024. And I wasn't at the table when it was given. It was like slid into my bag. So I'm not sure. I want to say it's from Debbie and Kefren. It's like soap. I looked it at first and I was like, oh my gosh, that looks good. Like I'm just going to eat it. It's soap. <laughs> And then this little scissor fob that says Stitch West Spring. And then these cute little doodads that somebody stitched and turned into things, miniature things, adorable. And then um, this little bag of DMC and a mint, I'm assuming, from Cherry Tree Cottage Quilts. Loved these ladies there this year. They were so awesome. And then a threader on a ring. And I wish I knew who the lady was that made this because I wasn't at the table when she gave it. But it is a frog pin. I loved this so much when I came back and saw it. Like I died. I died. It is the cutest, cutest thing. I'm going to put it on my little pin cushion down by my stitchy spot. And then I got this adorable scissor fob from Ray Stitching Sunshine. She made these. And it's Sully. So cute. And then I also got this hedgehog needle minder from Ray. Everything hedgehog you ever see I have, it's from Ray. And then this bee needle minder. I'm not sure who it was from. Oh, this one I got from Amy. And then this one I bought myself at Shepherd's Bush. It is a pink flamingo, or not pink flamingo, flamingo toes. I am obsessed with flamingo toes needle minders. I have so many of them. And I knew I had to have the mushroom when I saw it come out on her website not that long ago. <laughs> and I was so happy to have that, that they had it at Shepherd's Bush. Okay, so those are all my gifties. Oh, and then various people... I know one of these had a tag from Sharon on here, but a lot of little spoolies. Okay. Oh, and the, okay, I totally forgot this. So my secret stitch that I had been working on for <laughs> the past couple of months that I hadn't ever been able to show on here was a piece that um, Bernadette and I were stitching together to swap at Stitch West and that piece and I totally forgot to take a picture of mine so go check out on her channel when she does her Stitch West update because it's going to be on there she has mine that I gave her obviously and the piece was a pansy patch come on how does it disappear so far down here already it's a uh, pansy patch quilts, the retreat house. Did my brightness go way down? The retreat house. So this is what the pattern looks like. It's so cute, but we really underestimated the size of this house. <laughs> this chart is really large. I'm glad that we gave ourselves a long time, a lot of time to stitch it. And um, I know that I changed a bunch of the colors and the fabric and things on mine to suit what I thought Berna would like. And she did the same for me and I'm completely obsessed. And she finished it into a frame. This was her first time framing anything and she's a professional, I'm pretty sure. But look at it. I love it so much. I don't know what it's stitched on. I know that it's stitched on 40 count. There's Hibiki fur in it, which I love having Hibiki in my house. Um, I know that she changed the house color to a lighter blue. It's like, well, it's like a variegated bluish purple. The same one that's in this dress. That's me. <laughs> Cause look, Bert has a darker one. And I wish I would have had the foresight <laughs> to change the skin tone on her. I don't know. I was in a haze of stitching and I just stitched this, but she did such a good job. I love it so much. I can't wait to put it up in my sewing room. That was really fun. I'd never like exchanged a stitch piece like that with a friend before. 
and now I want to do it with all my friends. <laughs> um, okay. Shepherd's Bush Hall. Should we do that next? Or should we do... Okay, I participated in the Smalls Exchange this year. Um, I hadn't participated in it since 2021. So it had been a while since I participated in a Smalls. And I forgot to take a picture of my small. <laughs> but it was just like a... I forgot to take a picture of it. It was just a bunny that I had stitched and I finished it into a really cute like pillow with like a green um, chenille, like fluffy chenille trim from Lady.Creates. Just full and then another bunch of little stitchy notions. Okay, so if you don't know how a smalls exchange works, you bring a small gift that you've stitched and you put it on a table and then when your table number is called, you can go to the table and pick a gift. And so I, when my table got called, I saw this, it was wrapped in brown paper too, but I saw this box and I said, that one's mine. And I got, my small is from Kristen Dye. She like, I like even love the tag. You guys, she did so good. I couldn't even speak when I opened this small. It was wrapped so so adorably but just like wait till you see my what i got there are no words that is stitched over one over one and look at this these are like um like pins see oh purple and look at the back so cute. Oh, look at this. Look at that stitcher lady. It looks like it's stitched on an even weave. And look at the back. I need to learn how to finish like this where the, they cover it with something adorable on the back. She said this was her first time finishing a pillow. This was your first time? Mine don't even look like this. I've done like 20 pillows. Oh, they're so cute. I, I loved it so much. I was so, so, so happy. I loved it. So now I want to participate in all the smalls exchanges. All right. The first thing that I bought at the retreat, because I was a vendor, I had early access shopping <laughs> secretly, sneakily like and I saw a lovely lady next to me selling project folios. And I only have one project folio. It's gorgeous um, from Rika, House of Stitch and Stash. And I just hadn't bought any others because I just loved it. So I bought two from this lovely lady. And this was the first one I bought. They are so nice. It's got a mag... Is it a magnet? Kind of like a magnetic button type closure. This is what they look like inside. Just two, two zipper pockets and then folder pockets. Isn't that gorgeous? I'm pretty sure this is Rifle Paper Company fabric too, which is one of my favorites. And then the other one pull all of my threads and hairs off of it was this one I have a thing for houses with weeping willows right now like I am obsessed I need all the patterns that have houses and weeping willows and look at the inside isn't it beautiful I have my scenic sampler in it it's perfect because scenic sampler is the biggest willow <sighs> I could cry. I love these this folio so much. Okay, so that was the very first thing I bought. And then we, well, okay, at the retreat, but we had gone down early and shopped at Shepherd's Bush along with basically everybody else at the retreat on Thursday. <laughs> so I have two separate shopping bags because we went to Shepherd's Bush twice, of course. Shopping bag number one. Oh, some of this is uh, not from shopping on Shepherd's Bush. Hold up. 
you know, when you're packing to check out at your hotel and you've given yourself five minutes to pack, you kind of just chuck everything everywhere. Okay. Shepherd's Bush Hall. You guys, it's much more subdued than last year because I did not go to Citri Express this year. So, I got this pattern from Shepherd's Bush. So, it's a Chessie and Me gathering of she a gathering of sheep um all of these grassy hills under these like llama looking sheep i like to think they're llamas but i think that they're sheep is all satin stitches and it was stitched in the store and like put on this little box and i thought it was so cute but i think what i would do instead of making them all a bunch of little small things is have these little sheepies and then somehow put this like under it below it kind of around it like somehow turn it into a like a sampler wool oh my gosh is there wool in this there's wool in this I think it's just for the black part very interesting I've never stitched a chessie in me I basically loved every single one I saw in Shepherd's Bush though oh let's do, I'm put this back in here as I go and I only bought one piece of fabric from Shepherd's Bush. Uh, can I get like a round of applause? Um, I bought a quarter of Lakeside Linens Pear in 40 count. Isn't it gorgeous? So Brenda, the handwork maniac, was holding this. And I kind of just took it out. <laughs> Sorry, Brenda. <laughs> it's so pretty. It was a fat half, so I only bought a quarter of it. But I think Rika brought the, bought the other quarter. <laughs> it's so pretty. No idea what I'll stitch on it, but I loved it. Okay. And then, <laughs> this is kind of a mess. Oh, man. Nope. And then I bought a lot of floss. <laughs> and I can't remember exactly. <laughs> okay, so these flosses, some of them had a purpose when I took them out already. So these ones have no purpose. They are just floss that I have seen, like flosses that I've seen come up like in every single Stacey Nash, in every single like with thy needle or whatever, like Oscar, sweet potatoes, scuppernog, cognac, picket fence, oil cloth, lily pad, tin roof, um, wheat fields, moss, you know, like colors that you see come up often. And I just had them in my mind. I just kind of grabbed a skein of it. These. What did I need these for? Okay, so I needed another skein of piney woods. So I got two piney woods, but one of the other piney woods is for, I kit it up just with the floss because I don't actually have the pattern yet. I need to buy it off of um, the interwebs. I just have a picture of it. Um, I got the all the threads for Do I have a picture of it? The pink sparrow sampler. Here's a picture of the color cover. Um, so I got all the threads for that. And so there's those threads in here. The missing threads for uh, my chicken one, spring chicken pin keep. And there's threads in here for something else too. I got arrowhead because I needed it for the chicken pin keep and also for uh, the gather in, which I'm starting later this year. So those are the threads for those patterns. And that was it from for the first day. Well, technically the second day was this bundle. And then, so here's my second bag for the second day that I went to Shepherd's Bush. And I got two Shepherd's Bush kits. 
Um, I got Here We Go, A Haunting. So this came kitted with, I think this is um, those Weigar one, uh, Vintage Country Mocha. And then the threads that you need for it. And then I got this kit because I finished a full heart. I don't know if you can see up here. Shepherd's Bush, a full heart. I started in that at Shepherd <laughs> at Stitch Quest three years ago and I finished it la two years ago, maybe last year. It was before then. Two years ago I finished it, but I didn't put the buttons on it until like a month ago. <laughs> so I needed a new Shepherd's Bush and I wanted to have a similar similar feeling as a full heart. And so I found Birds, the Bird Song sampler. And it's got like rolling hills with the sheep and the shepherd and a basket of flowers and that skinny little house. And I thought it just had the same feeling and I really liked that. So this is also kitted. I think this is just a even weave of some kind. And then the buttons and the threads. Let me take a pause and look about That is all my haul and all my gifts. So last thing I'll show is what we got from the retreat. Um, so the guest was Primrose Cottage. Wait, Primrose Cottage, yes. They gave us a little freebie chart, just flash it. And then the retreat piece is called Honey Bees and Stitching Please. It's actually really adorable and I definitely will stitch it. I will not stitch it on the wrap fabric they gave us, but I will stitch it because it's really cute in a summer dough bowl. Very, very cute. And they gave us all the DMC and fabric. And they even gave us all the stuff for finishing it. And they linked like the tutorial for how to do the, how to do like the, the patch on the back. So like, I'm thinking what you do is you sew all around the corners, like around the whole pillow, instead of like leaving an opening and then you stuff it, but you cut, like you must cut a hole in the back of the fabric and stuff it through the middle in the back and then sew it up and then cover it with like a little flannel patch like glued on it or something. It's got to be how it's done. So I'm going to try to finish it that way. So yeah, really cute. I really, really liked it. And then since Amber was there, she gave me back my pinup girls. So it's done. I have another finish. I should have shown this at the beginning when I have finishes. So this was my piece. There's everybody on it. And it's stitched on a 32 count linen from um, Color and Cotton. I think it's called Denim. So another finish. <sighs> that is it. Oh, I'll show my, look what Rocio got me from Disneyland, Disney World. Her and her fiance, David, picked it out for me. They know what I like. And they also gave me, they also gave me these pins. Look, that's how you get. And Steamboat Mickey. I'm starting, this is my stitching bag. I'm starting to collect like pins that I get from people. Like this was a gift. This was not a gift, but like it's a peg leg pirate cat. <laughs> Duh. So collecting pins for my sticky bag. My neck light didn't work out. So um, <laughs> sorry if you bought it and your stand is like up here and you're like blinding everyone. I um, still need to figure out some kind of better lighting situation for myself. It would be so convenient if I had a light that clamped to my stand and I could have reach around and look, you know what I mean? Got to do some more, some more experimenting there. My bags did really well. Thank you to everyone who bought a bag from me. <laughs> it's so scary and strange to like put yourself and your work out there for like people to pay money for. It's, it's nerve wracking <laughs> for 
for sure. Um, but everyone was so kind and so sweet. And I only came back with this many. So I've got, uh, so I'll be listing them on my Instagram. Uh, I have this purple. It looks gray online, but it's, it is purple. Very, very purple. So I have this purple one I'll be listing. I've got this Teresa Kogut one I'll be listing. Oh, geez. I've got two of the Give Thanks Autumn bags that I will be listing. I've got two of those. Two of the Riley Blake um, Halloween Critters ones. Two of the Grandma, um, the Grandma quilt looking one. I love the charms that I put on these. They're little teapots. So cute. Two of the Buffalo Check Coca-Cola Santas. One of the Vintage Santas. And one of the, I have a thread here. What would you call this? Autumn, autumnal, autumnal floral bags. So if you would like any of these bags, watch my Instagram. I will be listing those this week. Um, I don't know how much shipping is going to be yet. I think last time I shipped them, there were $6 to ship, depending on the weight of them, how many there are in a package. Um, oh, and I forgot to show that we got these giant totes from Stitch West. They're huge and they have zippers. So I'll be bringing this to future Stitch West for sure. Cause it was so nice to have to haul all of my like, you know, purchases and things out with. So I, that is everything. It was kind of a lot. Let's see. Do we want to go into shows? I haven't done that for a few videos. I've still been watching the crown. Um, before I left for Stitch West, the last episode I saw was Diana had passed. And so it's like kind of the aftermath of that. Um, my brother made me watch two kind of scary movies while I was visiting my new nephew. <laughs> One was uh, called Parasite. I believe it won um, some awards a couple of years ago. And that was actually a really interesting movie. Uh, I don't normally watch movies that you have to read the captions on just because I'm always stitching and so I have to choose do I watch a movie with subtitles or do I stitch um but I didn't have any stitching there so I was like perfect time to watch a movie with subtitles and it was really good I actually really enjoyed the movie um really strange kind of concept and weird but I I liked it a lot and then we watched um gosh what is it called I want to say it was called, oh, Hereditary. That's what it was called, not Heritage. Hereditary uh, had, um, Colette, Tony Colette. She was the main, she was the mom in it. And it's like a, a horror movie. Uh, <laughs> it was scary. <laughs> it was a scary movie. I don't like, um, like, so in my normal life, I avoid looking in dark corners because I don't want to see like the shape of something you know, staring at me. Um, and that one had a bunch of the that, like you can just see the shape of something in the dark corner. I do not like that. It freaks me out. And <laughs> you should have seen me run up the dark stairs last night. To my, <laughs> my husband just thinks I'm an idiot. So that was scary. And I'll never watch that one again. <laughs> But if you like to be scared, uh, you can watch that one. It's on HBO. Um, I We watched, a few weeks ago, we watched First Night. Uh, did I already say that one? I think I did. I can't, I haven't been keeping track for the last couple weeks of what I have and haven't watched. We watched the Mission Impossible 1 and Mission Impossible 2. Uh, I've never seen any of the Mission Impossibles. Um... They were interesting. <laughs> it's quite wild, some of the things they're capable of doing. This one man is capable of doing, but they're entertaining. We started watching Roadhouse with Jake Gyllenhaal. Um, 
because Conor McGregor's in it. And we didn't even get, I think we got 30 minutes into it. And I was like, I'm not into this. <laughs> so we never finished that. Um, what else did I watch? Oh, we started watching Vikings. Um, Vikings is back on Netflix. If you've never seen it, please watch it. It is amazing. Fantastic show. I've watched it probably six times through, but we were scrolling and we're like, what do we watch? You know, can't find anything to watch. Don't know what to watch. Um, and he was like, I've never seen Vikings. And I was like, how is, how is that possible? How can that be? Because I've watched it like a dozen times. And he was like, well, I've seen a couple of random episodes, but I've never watched it like front to back all the way through. So we started that last night and then I'm going to make him watch Vikings Valhalla right after. <laughs> so we started that, which I am totally cool with. I love that show. I know you've all given me suggestions before I need to, after I finish the crown, I'm going to move on to another one of your suggestions. And then as far as stitchy plans, I don't have any. I'm feeling kind of a renewed vigor. I, I feel like I was kind of like brr, petering off on like desire to stitch before the retreat. And then the retreat is always like whew, juices you back up. So now that I have the called four colors I was missing for spring chicken pin keep, I'll probably keep that one out. Um, Winter Rose Manor is kind of nice to have out for fill-in, so I'll probably keep that one out. I'm going to find the right color of pink for scenic sampler and probably put some more into that because I was enjoying that fabric. It's a 46 count. I'm in my 46 count era, my 40 count era right now. No plans for new starts. Oh, no, no plans in the next two weeks for new starts. I don't think we'll see. <laughs> have I ever shown a video where I don't have a new start? We'll see. So I think that is everything. Um, watch my Instagram for these bags if you want any and thank you for watching and coming and I had such a great time at the retreat and meeting some of you uh, thank you so much for everyone who came over to me and said hi and introduced yourself uh, I loved it so so much it's a joy to meet other stitchers just something so magical about it it's great to see all my usual stitchy peeps and catch up like a family reunion every year every six months it was only six months since the last one so it was great. It was so much fun. I had a great time and I hope you enjoyed my video and let me know if you have any questions about anything. Thanks for coming. Bye.